Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies, who are still undefeated here in League Two. Believe it or not, we have yet to sacrifice a single point. We did lose to Tottenham in the, uh, the uh, Capital One Cup, but uh, here in League Two, we are undefeated, untied, unbowed, un... Today we're going to answer some questions. More, more, we're going to do more Google autofill. I ran out of ons. What can I do? Um, uh, we're going to find out uh, stuff about your parents. What's, what's the question exactly, Meredith? My parents are, and then we, we fill in the next letter. Uh, we go through the alphabet, and then, and then I give, I give uh, my responses to your concerns, uh, people of Google, about your parents. All right, what's next? Jealous of my in-laws. Yeah, that's a huge. That that I mean, that's I think like universal among parents. Oh, John Green's John. I thought wait, that was started so weird, but also I think it was. Let's just let's just start. Ball, John Green, John Green. He gives it all for the team. Upon his mustache, we're keen. Ball, John Green, John Green. There's been some concern that um, that I I I I'm not playing on a high enough difficulty level so I for the record I'm playing on professional difficulty uh, at the moment um, and I think that I, I think professional difficulty is a good place I mean professional difficulty is you know I am a professional well actually I'm not even anymore um, I used to be a professional FIFA player but now I'm just a guy who raises money for the actual real life AFC Wimbledon um, but yeah I think I think it's going fine I think you guys are alarmist what's my next what, uh, yes but yeah in-laws you know, that's a difficult thing. I'm lucky that my, my in-laws and my parents get along really, really well. So, like, they actually, like, hang out together even when we're not around. So, if anything, um, you know, my in-laws and my parents are too chummy. No, I'm just kidding. They're, uh, it's great, though. They're very, they're very cute together, you know. They're all big fans of us, so that's a nice thing. What? How is that offside? Is it now against the rule just to be good-looking, to have a beautiful blonde red mop of hair? What's my next question? My parents are keeping secrets. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe because there's stuff that you don't want to know. Your parents are going to do a lot of stuff that you don't want to know about. Um, but, you know, you can always talk to them. I'm a big believer in, like, open and honest dialogue. Not just about, not just with parents, but with pretty much anybody. It always, it always works. You never think it's going to work, but then it always does. Oh, man, we're so bad. We're just not, we're not, you know, we're, we aren't all the way there, Meredith. Let's, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. We are not as a club. Oh, thank God for Seb Brown. Seb Brown. Seb Brown. Saved two pens against Luton Town. Seb Brown. Seb Brown. He sent us into the league. Great job. What's my next question, Meredith? My parents are leaving for a week. Uh-oh. Somebody's about to get arrested. Um, Meredith just told a funny story about uh, her friend getting arrested at her party. Um, but I mean, you know, not that, not that any of us would ever do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, your parents are leaving for a week. Enjoy, enjoy having the house to yourself and don't do anything stupid. That's my, that's my honest advice. I know that that's old man advice, but that's all I can give because I am an old man now. Oh, get in there, sir. Find a way. What is the, what is this penalty for? For being, um, aggressive and trying to win the game? Is that against the rules now? I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware that I wasn't allowed to try hard. That's good stuff. Good, good takeaway. Oh, it's all for nothing. What's the next letter? My parents are mad at me. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're probably just disappointed in you. But uh, it's that's like that's all part of being. Um, I mean, I don't know. I get mad at my kids. It's frustrating. It's like. You have to uh, you have to live together, and like they feel this like insane sense of responsibility to you, and like you probably uh, you don't want to disappoint them, and it's always a it's always a bit of a weird dynamic. I remember like my therapist when I was like 16 saying to me that I just had to wait until I was 22. And there was no way that I was going to get around it. That my parents were going to be like annoying and challenging and difficult until I was out of college, and they totally were. And then I got to be 22, and I liked my parents again. I like them a lot, actually. Like now, like I'm like their biggest fans. Oh no! Everything worked out better than expected. Man, this professional skill level is a whole different ball of wax. Go! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Got stolen. Guy hasn't had a good couple. He hasn't had a good few games here. But he had those. Remember those magical Yabamba games? Oh! Oh, that's a penalty! 
That's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be a penalty. It's got to be. Is it a penalty? Did they call it? it? Has to be. I mean, ball. John Green took control. Oh yeah, he just got knocked over. He just absolutely got slammed to the ground. Nope. Nope, that's not who takes our penalties. Um, well, nope, I can't, I got to do it. I, 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 my, heart, my heart says Seb Brown, Meredith. I can't help myself. I just want to see, I, there's nothing more beautiful in this game than a goalie goal. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, there's something so magnificent about it. Player rolls, and then the penalties will be taken by, yep, they're going to be taken by Seb Brown. It's just, it's the right thing to do for the club. Mm, God, he has a very small little green thing. I didn't get there. Oh, but I got close enough! Sebi Brown with his first goal and likely only ever goal, and he does the robot just like the other Wimbly Womblies. Oh, it's beautiful! Seb Brown, what a goal! Oh, oh, he's a finisher! Seb Brown, now one for two on penalties in his career. Look at that, just gets, oh, and he just puts it, side netting. I mean, that's a perfect penalty. Beautiful. Beautiful. The goalkeeper guessed right, but there's no stopping Seb Brown. Oh, I love it. This is great. We've, now we're going to break their spirits. That's what, that's what we're in. The, we're in the spirit-breaking business. Get up, get up, John Green. Get, up and get that ball. All right, what's my next letter, Meredith? My parents are nosy. Well, they want to know what's going on in your life. It's weird, like, even now, like, like Henry comes home from school, I'm like, what'd you do at school? Did nothing. What, you don't remember anything you did at school? No. Do you have circle time? Yeah. Do you read books? Yeah. What books did you read? I don't remember. Did you learn any Spanish? I don't know. You don't know if you learned any Spanish? Like, did, was, who was there? Was Rohan there? Meh. Nah. Don't give me, eh, uh, give me an answer. I need an answer. Tell me what happened. Is that another penalty? Because that looks, oh, come on. It wasn't even a pass. It was a shot. This is ridiculous. This game is immensely unfair at times, Meredith. Just like life. All right, what's next? My parents are on Facebook. Um, I mean, I don't want to tell you that you should panic. Like, I don't want to scare you, but panic. Now is the time to panic. You need to, you need to, you need to, you need to address this problem. Look, it's not as serious as if your parents were on Tumblr. Obviously, then you would have to erase the entire internet. But you need to get serious about it. Your parents are on Facebook. They're likely going to want to be your friend. You're going to need to, uh, limit the amount of information that's available to certain friends, and then you're going to have to make your parents one of those friends because that's, like, complicated enough that your parents won't really understand what you did. Um, that's my advice. But, yeah, you should definitely... That is an appropriate Google search. See Kennedy's terrible haircut? He looks like he has a... You see, he looks like he has a... Looks like he has a, some kind of, like, m raccoon tail that goes across his entire head. Like, it's the Davy Crockett hat, but it's, but it's, it's hardwired into his head. Doesn't it gross you out? Are you into it? You have the worst taste in men. It's disgusting. Terrible. Terrible. Not doing my job as a mentor if you think that's attractive. All right, what's next? My parents are poor. Yeah, man, I mean, that sucks. <laughs> like, there's two kinds of, like, my parents are poor Google searches, I think. One is, um, like, you are, like, 13 years old and your parents are poor, and it sucks because, like, you want to do stuff that you can't do, and... Um, and like, you want like presents that you can't get and you want to, um, I mean, you know, even like get like stuff for school that you need and it's hard to get and everything is just a little bit harder. And like, it's just kind of something about poverty that's like really even like, I mean, obviously there's something about like absolute poverty that's very dehumanizing. Oh, frick Norburn Norburn's a great name. We just got Norburned. Anyway, we got Norburned. Bristol Rovers, this, this professional skill level is just killing us. Um, but, yeah. Uh, then the other kind is, like, when you are an adult and your parents um, are financially struggling and you've got to figure out, like, if you, like, if or how to help them. Um, that's always hard, too. So, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I empathize. Like, I've always, I've always been really lucky that my parents are, like, my, my parents are both really good, like, financial plannery people. Like, they just, and that's always been really helpful to me and Hank as well, because we've always had this, we've always had people giving us really good advice about, you know, 
things like even simple things like when I worked at Steak and Shake starting my uh, Roth IRA. So even though I was only 22 and it was doing doing something I never thought about, like now, all these years later, like it's way lots of money. Yeah, 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 Bamba just made a steal. I'll sing for any reason. Let's cut back. Pass. Shoot. Oh, he got it on his preferred foot and then he couldn't finish. Sorry, my voice cracked because of the excitement because that was a great play. Otherwise, I was proud of the play, I got to say. I'm proud of the boys in general. I think, they've, I think they've handled this game really well. Really classy. Oh! We're getting so close to shooting, and then Bristol Rovers are just cutting us off. I mean, I think Bristol was in the championship a couple years ago. They're, they're a legitimate team. Uh, what's my next letter? My parents are racist. Um, we're skipping Q. I wonder why. Oh, oh it's all quizzes. Um, yeah, my parents are racist. I mean, I don't know. That's hard. You know, look, your first and, your first and biggest obligation is to, to yourself. But then you do have a secondary obligation to the social order, right? Um, like, so it would be great if you could, like, talk your parents out of ra their racism. But it's also really hard to do that. Um, I remember my, my grandmother, who's a lovely woman, um, was also just, like, really, really, not homophobic exactly, but she just didn't, she didn't get it, you know? Like, she didn't, she didn't get homosexuality, she didn't get, like, just remember when, like, they started publishing, uh, uh, notices, this is before marriage equality, when the New York Times started publishing, oh no, Seb Brown! Keeping us in the game. Keeping us with this perfect score that we've enjoyed. Oh, um, yeah, my parent, my, so my grandmother was like, I just remember being in a room with her and she was saying, like, I can't believe the New York Times is publishing notices of these relationships that aren't marriages. You can't have a marriage except, and I was like, oh, you know, nanny, like, oh, frick nugget. That's what I said. I said, nanny, frick nugget. Um, and she was like, oh, that's a compelling case. Um, no, I was like, you know, Nanny, like, it's just, it's a different world than the one that you grew up in. And it's, a, it's good that it's different because all these people who, um, you know, who have been made to feel excluded by society for, uh, for having, for, you know, for being the people they are now aren't having to feel that way. And that's awesome. That's like, that's a, that's something to celebrate. And, you know, that made absolutely no impact. I'm still glad that I had the conversation with her. Um, and I think like, I, I, I think if you can do it in a way that makes, that, that makes you feel safe and doesn't endanger your, um, you know, like the, your ability to like survive outside the house and everything, then like it, it's possible to have those conversations, but it is really difficult. I don't, um, oh no, 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 it's just a bandaid, just a bandaid. I thought it was going to be the red X, the dreaded red X. I shouldn't have never played him. I'm switching out of more for a more. Oh, we're going from some more to less more, but it's still, it's not the best substitution, but I'll accept it. Oh, my God, we're tied. We need a goal to win the game. It's the 90th minute. Oh, it's all going, it's all going to hell, Meredith. Should never have switched to professional skill level. I knew it. Anyway, let me know if you want me to stay at professional skill level or, or, or switch to, uh, switch to semi-pro. Wimbly Wombly fans. Oh, we've got a chance. The dream is alive. Don't end the game just because the ball went out of bounds. Let me make my substitution. We got a chance. We got a chance. John Green. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, off the post. Oh, all of our work and effort has come to nothing. As we draw against Bristol Rovers, despite a heroic goal from Seb Brown and several great saves, I blame the hair of Mr. Kennedy. In the end, I think that's the problem. Oh, yeah, Bamba's disappointed. The beautiful ginger John Green is disappointed. He hugs his husband. Oh, well, you know, boys, couldn't last forever. Nothing lasts forever. Not even cold November rain. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.